All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. So the Rockets just signed Willie Colley Stein, the center, for one year. Now, I actually really like this move. I Apparently, the public's opinions on this isn't all that positive. Here's the bottom line. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for Daily Rockets content. Here, here's the thing with Willie Colley Stein. His career hasn't quite gone the way it was expected to or the way he had probably imagined it. This past season, he played in only a total of 20 games, splitting it 18 games with Dallas, two games with Philly, only nine minutes a night, 1.7 points, two rebounds a night. He hasn't really had a starting gig since 2019-2020 with the Golden State Warriors, where honestly his career was kind of resurged very briefly this is a good lob threat, I think, to pair with guys like Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green in the Rockets' offense. Defensively speaking, he's actually do. How do you even? You guys see that? I know I can see it on the screen. How does this guy even get in here? <laughs> and what even it? What do you, what even is animal? Even is that? Is that a gnat? I don't even know. Anyways, apologies. His defensive rating is slightly above average technically slightly above average now willie is not the most rim protecting big man that you could go out there and sign career wise is only 0.8 per game i uh, think keep in mind though he's only averaged 22 minutes a night in his career got drafted out of sacramento or sorry got drafted to sacramento played all right there in four seasons about 24 minutes a night 10 points per game six and a half rebounds so this was, a, I mean, not only was this a while ago, he'll be 29 next season. Here's the thing with Willie. It, it's very low risk. It's almost as low risk as you possibly could get. Now, the one contingency is that Houston is going to have to waive a player because this puts him over 20. I don't know who exactly that is going to be. I don't know. Maybe they'll finally free Boban. Maybe they'll get rid of Sterling Brown, Trey Burke, somebody from that Christian Wood trade. I don't know who's going to get the cut, but somebody's going to have to get the cut for this. Uh, now, Willie, if he makes the roster next season, we're going to see, guys, you'll never see more than 20 minutes a night for Willie. So I don't want to hear anything about him cutting into Alperin Shangun's development and progression because not only will Willie not start unless he has to because we're thin or, you know, there's just too many injuries or what have you, but he just won't see more than 20 a night. You know, it just won't happen. It hasn't happened all the way since his time at Golden State where they were a little bit banged up, and he actually was pretty solid for him. If you guys remember that 2019-2020 season where he was with Golden State before he got traded to Dallas. But he's not going to cut into Shangun. And here's the thing. I want Bruno to play more, but I think this is a good low-risk move where if Bruno isn't looking like you know he briefly looked last season for us, or if, you know, defensively Bruno's not getting it done. Offensively, if he's not getting it done. If Bruno and Usman Garuba aren't getting it, the job done, or Willie Cauley-Stein wins the job in training camp and preseason, I'm all ears for it, man. I, I really don't have an issue with this whatsoever. I mean, I know you need veterans on every team. I wouldn't really even consider, I, I guess he's a veteran, 28, 29 years old. I guess he's an NBA veteran, but he's in his prime at the same time. I'm trying to win games, guys. Like I, I'm all for Victor Wen, Wembenyama. I'm all for Scoot Henderson. But like, if there's one thing I've learned covering the Rockets the last two seasons, is like in the NBA lottery and in the NBA draft, nothing's guaranteed. I mean, ideally, if I if I would have had my way the last two seasons, right now I'd probably have Cade Cunningham and Paolo Bancaro. Like. You're not always going to get what you want. And Willie Colley Stein isn't the type of move that's going to win you 20 more games. <laughs> like you're not trading for Rudy Gobert here. No disrespect to Willie, but this is such a minuscule move that it's a slightly step above, in my opinion, than the Rockets signing Justin Patton in the year that we traded James Harden. Like if you remember, Justin Patton came on. To Houston, in that rebuilding, the you know out of nowhere rebuild, it was like, all right, you know, yes, yeah, some nights he'll have a good game, other nights it's just like, whoa, <laughs> you know that, that that's why you're not playing much. So it's in my opinion going to be the same thing with Willie Colley Stein, but I think he's a little bit more rounded, he's a little bit better, 
And you got to keep in mind the thing with Usman, Bruno, and like like Usman especially, but Usman, Bruno, and Shangun, they're all young and they're all project pieces. Like just because they're playing more than they played last year doesn't necessarily mean they're going to break out and that they're going to progress and they're going to automatically turn into an all-star or an MVP candidate. These things take time. You know, it takes time. It takes a long time to build a championship caliber roster. So this move to me, especially one year, there's just no risk attached in it, in my opinion. So I really like this move. It's nothing too crazy. You know, it's nothing I, you know, whoa, you know, Rocket Sound, Willie Call Sound, I gotta hop on video right now. But it was like, damn. All right, Raphael Stone, I see you. I, I didn't think you were gonna make a move this offseason. I like it. The Rockets need big man depth. You sign a big man. It's not rocket signs. So that's it for today. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for Daily Rockets content. But most importantly, guys, go ahead. Drop some comments down below. What are your thoughts on Willie Colley Stein? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. That's really it for today. Peace, man.